Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick How do I stay consistent and motivated to code every day? So let's get into it well If you're coding absolutely every single day and you don't want to code every single day um, Don't sounds simple enough i hope uh, the thing is guys the I, I i don't really know why somebody would get it into their heads that they have to code every single day and stay consistent and just keep up the practice because i honestly think that if if you have stop decided if you have decided to be a software developer and you've decided to start writing code you're most likely doing so for a purpose of some sort. Now, the purpose is the thing that dictates how much you invest. If you are just genuinely interested in software development, you love writing software, then you won't have to force yourself. It's going to come naturally and you're going to code as much as you feel motivated to code. And if you are doing it for some project, it's likely that as long as that project is interesting to you or there is an incentive for you to work on that project, you are going to keep on writing software. If you're doing it for job purposes, you're likely going to, inv like, yeah, and you don't have for some reason any other real interest into it, you're likely going to invest as much as you need in order to apply for positions and then you're going to find this I hope sweet spot where you know enough to actually hold down a job and if you're just doing it because well if you have even if, if you have less incentive to work than that it's likely that you are just going to quit you're not going to feel uh, you're not going to invest enough to actually learn it properly so that you can get a job doing it but uh, I don't know I, I kind of think I know where this is coming from because it's uh, it's a problem that quite a lot of people seem to... F I, or rather, there is this weird... There is this weird, unspoken thing that is going on in this industry where people seem to believe that you have to either be a super genius to do software development and programming and all this good stuff or you have to work all the time you have to basically breathe the code some even some companies sometimes which is so weird have this into their heads guys you don't have to do that like it's uh, this is not a it's not a fucking olympic sport guys it's not, it's not like software developers are competing with each other some people seem to be competing with the world themselves it's kind of, i honestly it's very weird sometimes uh, where people seem to either they feel that being smarter than the next guy you're working with or girl is something to strive for it's almost as i said it's almost like a damn competition to some people i mean guys for most of the industry this is just a job it's just for most people programming is just a job it's not it's, there's nothing more to it it's 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 a means of getting money of making a living somehow and in order for you just think about that yourself what other professions apart from professional grade athletes like who else has this idea where you have to be the absolute damn best person in the world at that thing i don't see people like mcdonald's competing with each other who's the best who's the best person at making a burger it's the same that's why i'm saying it's the same weird mindset and this comes from i i suppose it comes from this i it is an intellectual field and because you can have varying varying level levels of quality in your soft in software and like the tools you're using and we have all these different it companies and tech gurus who push different trends you get it into your head that there is some prestige or some value in keeping up with every single trend because that's the honestly 
apart from personal interest, I can only imagine people who really do believe that every trend out there, every single tool is relevant, it's equal and you have to know it all. That's the only other way I can imagine somebody feel, having, getting to a point where they feel forced to practice programming every single day. Of course not. I mean, you don't even go to the gym every single day. Why would you spend most of your life? I mean, guys, there is more to life than software development. There's more to life than coding. Unless that, unless programming is your hobby as well, I don't see a reason for you to force yourself to practice it every day. I mean, shit, I have coworkers who only program at work. That's the only time they program. And shit, they're better at tons of stuff than I am. I have it as a personal hobby and I code quite a lot. That doesn't mean that I'm better than somebody who has the right mindset or has more experience or just does it for I mean that's what I'm saying guys it's uh, it, it's not about the quantity of time that you put into it necessarily it is about much more than that and let's call it the quality the quality time that you invest into things and let's just leave it at that because I don't want I mean I don't want to dissuade you if you want to write software every day and you want to like if you want to do it for your personal interest, do that, but don't force yourself to do that. So basically what I want you to take away from this is that if you have it into your heads that you have to sit there and practice every single day to be a software developer, then you can't, no, you don't. You have to know enough. You have to pra you have to be stay somewhat consistent. You have, it's something about, I mean, as I said, it's like any job or, I mean, Ask yourself, what do you think a lawyer or an architect or a doctor does in their spare time? I'm assuming that they don't just work around the clock, but they do have to make a personal investment to learn the things that are relevant for their job. And this is very much the same thing. I know that this trend in programming where the industry is trying to basically push all of the, basically we're trying to convince the whole damn industry that the only people who are worth anything in software development are the top-notch super programmers of the world and they are born basically into this world and th that, that's about it, right? It's, but that's not, the, that's not the reality, guys. I'm sorry that this weird mindset f is, is around, but honestly, all I can tell you is this. You can kind of ignore this. You don't have to compete with the rest of the world. You have to be able to do the job. And there's a big damn difference between being the top-notch super programmers, uh, be among the top-notch super programmers in the world, or trying to sell the idea that you are one of those people, and just being somebody who does this for a living. And you have to ask yourself how much of an investment you want to make, because I'm guessing that most of you just want to learn how to write software and would like to be able to live, make a living from doing so. Have a great day.